Professor Creasy, in your seminar, you spoke about populism as political strategy and as ideology. Can you explain how populism fulfills each role in the political system? I defined populism in terms of ideology on the one hand, in terms of uh, political strategy on the other hand, building on definitions of the phenomenon which exist in the literature. In terms of ideology, I used the definition by Karl Müde, who says it's a thin ideology which uh, uh, opposes elites and masses, uh, which uh, has a monolithic uh, conception of the masses of the people, and uh, which uh, has a Manichaean outlook in the sense that uh, the elites are evil and the masses are good. As, in, as far as uh, strategy is concerned, I built on the definition of uh, Kurt Weiland, who suggests that we uh, define populism in terms of political strategies, a personalistic leader who uh, pretends to directly represent uh, a large number of unorganized uh, people. During your lecture, you spoke on the rise of populism in Europe. What are the contemporary conditions encouraging this development? For uh, Western European countries uh, following Peter Mayer and his ideas, the erosion of the representational function of the political parties is essential for the rise of populism. He talks about partyless democracy, uh, a, democracy a representative democracy, where parties are very distanced uh, from the people. This partyless democracy gives rise to populist reactions to outsiders, uh, uh, not mainstream parties, peripheral parties, which mobilize the people against the mainstream. Uh, as far as uh, Central and Eastern Europe is concerned, I said uh, it's not the erosion of the party system, but it's also a deficiency of the party system. Uh, parties are uh, uh, not legitimate, they are little organized, they are not rooted in society, and they are highly volatile. All the time appear new parties, and this is a breeding ground for populism. How is the current political situation in Italy a good example of the rise of the anti-party in contemporary politics? I, I drew a typology where I crossed uh, political ideology, populist ideologies and populist strategies. In terms of this typology, I have on the one hand the populist parties, and on the other hand you have social movements which have uh, neither populist uh, ideologies nor populist strategies. And then you have a, a mixed type of political actor, which I suggested uh, would be an anti-party like Pepe Grillo's party. It's highly populist in its ideology. It's anti-elitist. It says uh, the elites have betrayed us and it uh, says tutti a casa, all have to go home and uh, be replaced by uh, real representatives of the people. And it uh, mobilizes in network-like structures the uh, grassroots, and in, in this sense, it is a mixed breed. It is not just a populist party, but it is something else.